These are the top acts on America's Got Talent this season, so far. So far, the show has awarded four acts the coveted golden buzzer. A new season of America's Got Talent has begun, with singers, dancers, comedians, ventriloquists and more competing for the $1 million prize and a headlining slot in Las Vegas. Out of all the competitors this season, six acts will receive a coveted golden buzzer from either an AGT judge, host Terry Crews or, for the first time in the show's history, the audience. Acts that receive a golden buzzer get a significant advance over their competitors, advancing immediately to the live portion of the show. Here's a breakdown of the acts that have earned a golden buzzer this season, so far. Howie Mondel Golden Buzzer, Murmuration A dance group from France is the latest AGT act to earn a golden buzzer, this time from Judge Howie Mondel. The Mega Unity Dance Group, featuring 65 dancers led by choreographer Sadek Buraba, form an act called Murmuration, which performed a routine perfectly in sync while blindfolded. Wow, I mean you guys were so amazingly in sync even though you couldn't see anything, AGT Judge Heidi Klum said. And there's so many of you. But it was so elegant with so much grace. I thought it was fantastic. Judge Sofia Vergara said it reminded her in some ways of the dance group Mayas, an act from Lebanon that won this past season of AGT. I was mesmerized. Mondel added before awarding the group his golden buzzer. I find what you do hypnotic, and I think it's very original. I find it almost more magnificent when you get a large group of people and the movements are smaller, but perfect. It blew me away. Simon Cowell Golden Buzzer, Putri Ariani Putri Ariani's audition for AGT has gone viral, amassing 38 million views on YouTube alone in just a couple of weeks. Before she sat at the piano to sing, the 17-year-old singer from Indonesia told the show's judges this was her first time in the United States and that she hopes to attend the Juilliard School and, eventually, win Grammy Awards. My biggest challenge is people look at me just as a blind person, not as a musician, she told AGT producers ahead of her performance. But when I'm singing, I feel like a superstar. After Ariane's performance which led to an enthusiastic standing ovation Simon Cowell left his chair behind the judges' table and walked onto the stage. Her voice is amazing, he told Ariane's father before asking for another song. Ariane was happy to oblige and performed Elton John's Sorry seems to be the hardest word. After the teenager's last note, the audience seemed to sit in silence, stunned, for a couple of seconds before erupting into applause. We're all mesmerized by you, your voice, Vergara told the emotional contestant. You're an angel. A lot of people don't believe in angels, and I think one just landed on our stage, Mondell added. You're a superstar. When Ariane revealed that the first song she performed for the audition was actually an original, she received another massive standing ovation. Before pressing his golden buzzer for Ariane, Cowell, who was visibly stunned, praised the teenager's amazing, distinctive voice. At one point backstage, he told the teen she is one of the best singers they've ever had on the show. Audience Golden Buzzer Mzansi Youth Choir During the 2021 season of AGT, singer-songwriter Jane Marchevsky who went by the stage name Nightbird took the stage and performed an original song titled It's OK. The song chronicled the past year of the 31-year-old singer's life. At the time of her audition, Nightbird had a 2% chance of survival, with cancer detected in her lungs, spine, and liver, the Deseret News previously reported. 2% is not 0%, she said during her audition clip, which to date has 58 million views on YouTube. 2% is something, and I wish people knew how amazing it is. Before singing It's OK, Nightbird told the judges it's important that everyone knows I'm so much more than the bad things that happen to me. The singer later dropped out of the competition as her cancer took a turn for the worse. She died in February of 2022, per NBC.com. But her one appearance on AGT had a wide-reaching effect. This season, the Mzansi Youth Choir from South Africa took the stage and performed It's OK. The singers said the song has been a pillar of strength for them, and that Nightbird had heard their recording before her death and responded so beautifully to it. I'll always remember Nightbird, Mondell said. And seeing that it touched people on the other side of the globe unbelievable.
Cowell who has called Nightbird his favorite golden buzzer act in AGT history was visibly emotional after the choir's rendition of the song. I know how much this would have meant to her, he said. Right until the end she was so passionate about sharing her music, and this has gone all over the world and you've come back here with the most amazing tribute. It was just breathtaking, honestly. In the background, the audience's chants of golden buzzer grew louder, prompting AGT to allow the audience to award a golden buzzer for the first time in show history. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life, Mondell told the choir as golden confetti rained down on the stage. Terry Crews Golden Buzzer Chioma and the Atlanta Drum Academy Chioma was just one when his grandmother gave him a drum. By the time he was three, he was taking classes at the Atlanta Drum Academy. I wanted to have something that little kids can do they didn't have to wait until they got in middle school or high school to join the band, they can start playing drums at a young age, said James Riles III, director of the Academy, ahead of the program's appearance on AGT. Before taking the stage with his fellow drummers, Chioma, who is now eight, told Cruz that he once had a dream he was on AGT and had gotten the golden buzzer. The judges had nothing but praise following a lively routine from Chioma and his academy drummers. It was fun, it was energetic, Mondell said. You guys are adorable. I think everybody in this room loves you, and I love you. I love that you do something with your extra time outside of school instead of being on your computers, Klum added. You're putting this amazing act together. I love that. Vergara went so far as to say the group might have a very big chance to win this competition. I haven't seen anything like this before on this stage, she said. But it was Cruz who really pushed things over the top, walking dramatically onto the stage to hit the golden buzzer and make Chioma's dream come true.